got a good safe there, and he's got such good cue ball. So that's, 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 that's what excellent. he's doing. Excellent observation, and yeah. you hit it right on the head. You said, yeah. What? what? You guys are so and I've been talking for days about when you're going to snooker a guy. That's the best thing to do! Another one. He hit it. He hit Not it. Not only did he hit it, he, he made hit it. it inside on a kiss. He hit it straight to the face. Oh, boy. <laughs> An international superstar known as the magician. Please welcome from the Republic of the Philippines, Mr. Efren Reyes. And he will match up against Finland's pride, known as the Iceman. He is no other than Mr. Mika Imunen. Former WPA World Nine Ball Champion, please welcome from Helsinki, Finland, known as the Iceman, Mika Imunen. Thank you. Mika Imunen is a Finnish professional pool player, one of the youngest players that holds numerous international titles. He was the champion in the WPA World and Nine Ball Championship in the year 2001. He also won the Ten Ball Championship in the year 2002. He was also a US Open title winner and even belonged to the Hall of Fame of America. He is one of the best pool players in the world. But can his skills be enough against the legend Efren Reyes? And let's start the game. Table plays the winner of this table. Keep in mind, it's a very short race to seven. Let's proceed now to the opening rack. In, in, in ability, in play this game is a race to seven, a winner's break format. And when you break from the left side, the left corner ball goes in this left pocket and vice versa. So I expect them, whoever breaks is going to have a chance to run out. Well, it was really important for Mickey to jump out of the gate quickly, hit him quick. All balls are in the open. And then he knows as well as anyone, when all balls are in the open and Mr. Ray is at the table, he takes care of business. Yeah, you should have the rack in your hand ready. He follow the cue ball, two cushions out of the corner for position for the two. But shouldn't present much of a problem. Keep in no. mind, these are very small pockets. Problem, and I figure him to make this. Notice he took a little extra time in preparation and shooting that shot. Problems here, and especially Efren Reyes. Sometimes, look at this. And hit that a little fuller, he could have been snuffered. Pull the cue ball where the six is right now may be a problem. That's what he's going to do. He's going around the nine, traveling a little extra with the cue ball, but a fair trade-off has a better shot on the eight. Well, he went forward. He had a little angle. He wanted to get close as he can to the But he should him. Well, that's going to take one nothing lead. I'm, I'm curious to see where he's going to break from. Here we go. The six is the win. Oh, he made the one in the side anyway. The, uh, the six missed by a hair, but I, I was wrong. But Let's go now to the second rack. An amazing break by Efren Reyes. It's a little bit of a problem. And also from the five to the six. So therefore, he's going to have to come up with a good angle on the five. Now he's looking to see if the five will pass the seven. Yeah, but that's does. what he gets paid for. And he's been getting paid pretty well lately. Most uh, successful coach he tells me that no, he's in the upper left hand corner. He's looking to play for the, to the lower left hand corner. That side rail, he'll have an angle to get to the seven, if he goes that way, which he did. See it? Now he's fine. Efren Reyes was 50 years old during this time. According to many, this was one of his prime years in playing pool. Start thinking about last rack when he missed. 
you know, it's all you have to do with someone like Ephraim. For if he has the good feel pocketing the one on the side, Mickey may not have too many appearances at opportunity that he wants to run the balls. That's rack number two. It also goes Ephraim's way. This is the third rack. Ephraim will be breaking. Imonen is still sitting in his chair, just waiting for his turn. Straight in. Notice the one on the side. Right. That's the ball. Both of those have been going. But that's the ball he's going to get paid off for, the one on the side. Fortunately for Imonen, the two ball found the position but behind the orange five, not allowing Reyes at the table with an offensive shot. He has to look elsewhere. He's got a good safe there, and he's got such good cue ball control. That's, a, that's, that's excellent, what he's doing. Excellent observation, and yeah. you hit it right on the head when you said yeah. he's got great cue ball control. And I've been talking for days about when you're going to snooker a guy way bigger if you see the guy on the ball. A very nice defensive shot by the magician. He did a thin cut shot for the two ball and hit a cue ball behind the nine ball. Mr. Mika Imunen is in a very difficult situation. He needs to find out a way to hit the two ball. If he misses the shot, a friend will be ball in hand. Let's see how the Iceman approaches to solve this problem. No, he wants to hit the reel and bend it, Danny. He's, oh, he's, he's going to go past it. He's mad right. saying he's it. Right, he's bending it. Yeah. So therefore, he didn't, he didn't recognize the shot that you did. No. He but did. he did have a legitimate shot at bending it, but he wasn't able to do it. Reyes now has a ball in hand in the open in the center, near the center of the table. When you're playing out there, Trying to get close pocketing. Now he's going to go around the table again here. One, two, three cushions. He's going to get close to the five and he's going to go toward the five in line. A few feet, get straight in. No, he don't have to. Our friend Reyes already won this game in the year 1999. He was the master of the table and a one pocket champion. But when he Gets in this kind of gear, it looks like he's never going to make. I'm sorry, I, I cut in on you. Go ahead. Right. Right. Seven ball. Seven ball. Ooh, he missed. Not, but the one in the side went again. I one just uh, want to bring that to a... Powerful. Let's go now well, to rock number five. The ball came in between the cue ball and the two ball, and he's going to have to do something with... It looks like uh, Mika was shooting 303. 333. So he's opting to push. Okay. Okay, what's the no. there? Dahil wala siyang tira sa dos, nag-desisyon si Efren na mag-push out. But inside English, and hitting the thin side of the two, the two then will, should go twice cross corner. Four is, and maybe he'll end up with a fairly good safety. I wouldn't pass this shot back to Ray. Back, but again, when you're losing three nothing, you end up with a shot on the red three. Cross corner. Play safe all the way here. That's what he did, and it's going to be a decent one. Okay, now he's left Reyes a shot on the two, a very, very difficult one, but a shot. He very tough shot. You know, he's trying to do that though. See, this was the problem, all the obstructions, you know, and now he's safe. Made a great shot. Yes, but the he position did. was so tough. Yes, it Despite was. his success in potting the two ball, Efren still has no shot on the three ball. But let's find out why Efren is called the king of kick shots. Pink ball and then spin it back in. He hit it. He hit Not it. Not only did he hit he it, he made hit, it inside he, on a kiss. He hit it straight in the face. Oh boy! Damn! You know you say, boy, he got lucky, but you sometimes you earn it. Everyone was surprised when Efren hit the three ball and potted it into the side pocket. The magician's kick shot ability is one of a kind. The ball, that was a tough kick. Right. Yeah, you gotta play well enough. Oh, you overcut the room, Rat, but it went in anyway. Yeah. And he certainly plays good enough. No! Back to the right, because the kick was a difficult kick. Not only did he hit it, but he hit it solidly for that. It 
he was just he just fall into it. He hurt. Pefenarius has not given a Mr. Imunen a chance to return and play in the table. In the, in the chair, there's very little to say about what's going to happen here. He's not another shot. So he's still shooting a thousand. And during this time, the Iceman is losing his hope to win the game. He just doesn't know, you know, what can he can do and, and, and why this is all happening like this. You know, because prior to coming into this match, he probably thought it was his turn. You know, because he's playing well, he's breaking well, so therefore, and he's got a, he's got a high confidence level. Yeah. So therefore, you have to think like that. It's my turn. But right... Okay, he wasn't able to pocket the one in the side. Made it. Made but the ball in the other two side. In the, in, the, in the other side. Therefore, this shot isn't that. And out, and he won't have to worry about the side. Oh, oh look at this shot. Oh, he didn't want to fool the side at all. How you like that? That's right. He well, says, plus, he needed to get back down here for the uh, four. That's talking about. We're looking at coming to the three. three. Looks like to me this laying rather. Seven to go one rail, too. Like this. Wow, what a call, and what a shot. What a shot. Now, well, that's, that's what perfect I'm, execution. Perfect. That's what I'm saying about him. He is in that, what Michael Jordan calls the zone. It doesn't matter where he's at, he's the set up. You know, and the shot that we just saw him execute took. Napaka-relax ng buong katawan niya at napakaganda ng performance. And he's recovering from it. For a while, he, he was a little bit in a slump. I'm watching him now, and uh, I think you're right. Look at this. He's playing as well yeah. now as I've ever seen him play. Right? You know, this is tough to play against, as you know. It's tough to play. How do you play against someone that's playing perfect? Well, you're not right. He's just a low key guy. Well, you know, he lets his stick do all his bragging. Yeah. That's, that's what it's yeah, all about, yeah, you know what I mean? Right. This is Iraq 7. Efren is on the hill. Well, Mika Imunen has failed to gain any single point. Well, he made the end. Neither will Imunen when he comes to the table. Yeah, he's not going to like it. Oh, might let him see an edge. I do believe he can see the bottom of the one. Yeah. Well, or he, someone like that, you know? He just looks that way, though. Some people look that way, and they're stone killers. But anyway, how about poor Mika? Uh, losing 6 nothing, and that's the shot he's got. And someone in the audience said, Come on, Mika. I think he's hitting it, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Oh, he mishit that. Yeah, he was cutting it. He overcut it. He mishit that. But he, in the meantime, he hasn't done really any. The balls are... T you better not do Right. This. Okay, now he played the five. I didn't think he could control the one ball, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm getting up on the antenna. I don't know. He shot that shot as well as you could shoot it. You expect when a guy's losing six nothing. Oh, he was able to bypass the four. Oh, he dropped nicely for the two and come up with a decent angle on the two. Because he's going to have to hit it with speed. Straight in on the three. Well, it's, it's like you said, Billy. He just has had too much of a tough start here. You know, it wasn't a miss. Yeah, too much work to do. And losing 6 nothing against Efren, he just didn't handle it. He had not a chance to get out that rack. Now that's not going to work. Too soft. That's not going to work. He's going to be able. He's going to have a another wasted soft. chance as Mr. Imonen missed like the two ball. Make the two ball go too fast. No, dude, this shot. This is something we'll go back on because it's going to be a beautifully no. executed. He shot. played safe instead. And that's from what else he, I guess, he had in his favor. Thinking he's laughing. Oh yeah, it was like, uh, anyway. It's and, a, but but what you said, he played safe instead. You know, there's some merit to what you yeah. said. Yeah. He's got a two rail kick. This is a big ball. I think he'd hit it anyway. No, I don't. Well, it's another pack your bag effort here. Ah, finish now.
A very unfortunate event for Mr. Mika Imunen as he scratched on the cue ball. Seven nothing. Form the pay something. You're gonna have to have some.